Good morning, little troopers. Happy Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. So today we're going to have a very fun science experiment. That is why we have a lot of things here. Do you remember last week we learned about pollution? Who remembers what pollution is? Yes, pollution is everything that makes our earth very, very sick and dirty. So today we're going to learn about oil spills. Oil spills are very, very bad for all the animals that live in the oceans and also for us because they are very difficult to clean. So before we continue, you would like to get some things, okay? We got this washing soap, water, oil, paper towels and some cotton, okay? Once you get, ah, we need also, sorry, two containers and one spoon. So first, we are going to fill up these two containers with water. Is this water clean or is it dirty? What do you think? See? It's very, very clean water. You need to imagine that, in, that in, this is the ocean, okay? And inside here, there are many, many fishes, sharks, whales, birds, penguins sometimes, okay? I don't have any ocean animals, but if you have some plastic toys, you can put it inside to see what happens. Once you fill up the containers, you need to take a spoon or if you have a medicine dropper and we're going to put the oil inside the water to see what happens. Are you ready? What do you think? You need to put oil in both containers. Can you see? It's like a bubble. Now, if this were the, the ocean, all the animals will get stuck in this oil like this one, okay? So if this happens, if a boat spill out oil some scientists and some people need to go and clean it up so we're going to try to do that job so how do you think we can clean it up first in this container we're going to try to clean it up with a paper towel do you know why because this can absorb this means that can like this can suck the oil out but do you think it's going to be effective? Do you think it's going to work? Let's see. See? The oil bubble is there. So you're going to take the paper towel and you're going to try to take all the oil out of the water. Is it working? Look. The oil is still there. Let's see how many times we need to do this to try to clean it up. See, as much as I move the paper towel inside, see, the oil is spreading everywhere. So it's going to be more difficult to clean. Is it working? Mm. Not very much. Now, I'm going to try to clean it here. I don't know if you can see the oil there. So, we're going to take one cotton and we're going to try to clean all the oil in the water. Is it working better? What do you think? Let's see how many cotton pads we need. And this is also a problem because we're using 
a lot of cotton trying to clean up so we're making also garbage at the same same time that is not very good for the planet look which one worked better did the paper towel work better or the cotton okay see this one we really clean up but i can still see some spot of oil so it's not totally clean and now i'm going to try to clean this bowl using a spoon what else do you think we can use to try to clean the water this i think is working much better but it's going to take a lot of time what do you think okay and now finally we're going to try with the soap i'm going to put the soap into the water do you think it's going to work now we have another problem because is the soap the dish washing soap good for the water as well mm, it's not very good maybe it's going to help us to clean the oil in the water but at the same time we are making the water dirty as well so it's not very good oh look look here we put the dishwashing soap now we're going to mix everything to see what happens now you can really see all the oil before it looked much cleaner but this means that sometimes although you cannot see it the oil is still there so what did we learn just now we learned what is an oil spill remember an oil spill it can happen in the ocean sometimes in rivers or lakes as well and it's it happens sometimes by accident okay so a boat can be a little bit broken and the oil goes to the water or sometimes it can be on purpose so when they trying to throw things away and the oil get mixed up there okay and why is it very harmful because it can get to the birds and to the fishes so it, if it gets to the fishes then remember who eat fish we do so we're going to eat something that is polluted something that is very very bad for our health and what happened with the birds the oil gets stuck in the feathers like this picture and it's very very dangerous because it can kill the birds and the animals that live in the ocean because sometimes they cannot breathe and also the feathers protect the animals from the weather so they get very very cold i wanted to show you after a while what happened with this water it's much cleaner than before because the dishwashing soap it helps to break the molecules remember the molecules are very very small things okay so it helps to break up the molecules and it makes much easier to clean but at the same time it maybe it's very good to help to to help to clean the animals but if we put it in the water remember that it's going to stay in the water and it's not very good as well I hope you enjoyed doing this experiment and that you remember that it's very, very difficult to clean the oil from the oceans or the water.